Hello everybody. After the last video where we have created three different temperatures for different pipings, now in this video I'm going to show you how to create load that is static load conditions for seismic analysis. Like in seismic analysis, there will be three conditions. Sorry, three kinds of three type of load will what is it? Earthquake will appear. One is a uh, pitch, roll, and heave. In pitch, north and south movement of the land will be in north and south direction, and in roll, it will be in east and west direction, and in heave, the direction will be vertical direction. So, these values for these you can get from your local meteorological department. So, now we want to create the seismic load conditions for this piping. For doing so, first we need to go to our first node and then there's uniform loads. Now we need to enter the values for each load. As you can see in our document the values are given in G. See? Now north south direction that is x 0 0.63 0 0.063 vertical direction 0 0.075 and z direction was Zero point five nine. Now you can see this that those values are now applied to the whole piping system. Now let us. Go to the first element. Now I'm going to add the value for wind load conditions that is wind. For wind, the wind will act in four directions that is plus x minus x and plus z minus z. Now, in order to add that, again you need to go to first element and there you can see this wind and wave. Click on it. It's a letter. Wind shape factor. That value is 0.65. And you will see again that value is applied to the whole system. Now we need to do what is a make the load conditions for this value static load condition that can be done either by here that is static load cases or when you reach this when you press this batch run process it will automatically ask you for editing the load cases okay, the individual load cases for this job has already been changed since the last time the job was run would you like to look at the combinations for the picture right? yes here, this window will appear. For entering the value, here you can make individual load cases, or one thing you can, if suppose you have another model which you have already done, the same load cases you want in this model also, like suction piping, you need the same load cases for dispatch piping. So, what you need to do is either you can copy from here, import load cases from, and then go to that folder, then copy from here. Or you can do one more thing, like you can go to the folder where you are saving the files. Like for me, here, this one was my suction piping. So when you open this file, one dot j file will appear in your diagram. Here in this folder, a dot j file will appear. 
copy and paste that op file on your anywhere on, like on your desktop and somewhere. Then what you do is just start typing whatever the name of your this file is there. See, like this dot j file. file will be there in that folder when you open it. Throw this means closing this one and opening that file. It will be available. This will be open because now this file currently this file is open. That's why you can see this dot j model here file here. So copy this name and then rename it. Previously I have copied this one. So here I have renamed this. Now copy this file and paste in this folder. So what will happen is this currently if no load cases or so default load cases file will get replaced by that one. So we'll have the same load cases which were there in previous section line. But now in this one I'm gonna show you how to create the load cases for this model. Now first creating the load cases for wind sorry seismic loads. So totally there are six sorry twelve load cases for seismic loads. Six are under shutdown, six are under operating condition and uh, another six are with just only the seismic without any seismic load at all. Okay, so now let us create the load cases. So we need total of 18. So now I'm going to show you how to create this. First, under the down condition, wind, temperature, pressure, and plus U1. Sorry, this is not under static, this is under operational. So if you want it static, we need to remove the temperature from here. Because under static conditions, the temperature won't act. When just do one plus neutral. Similarly, when weight pressure on the neutral. So now these are positive. We need same in negative direction the land can move both to and fro during an earthquake so now we are changing it to negative also these are for as a on static condition suppose now we are creating for operational condition so what will be the factors that will be there in the six will be there. What the difference is plus T one will also be there. So now these are under operational conditions and these are under shutdown conditions and one more we need few more like only earthquake like what will be the effect on plant when only earthquakes is correct right. let's do this uh, another six cases are developed so means only u1 u2 u3 and minus u1 minus u2 minus u3 and 
I'm not sure whether you can take directly from here you want you to do free use or this is a standard method like you will do subtraction so what the these are called scalar conditions and whatever has which have cycle like 2 minus l3 l3 minus l3. these are called the tar conditions here now we need only u1 how to get u1 subtracting this from this one or this from this one so let us subtract this from this l4 minus l3 and all this okay l4 minus l3 l4 minus l3 similarly like this we are gonna create all the conditions still l9 Now we have all our load conditions ready. All these are occasional. So we are going to just make everything occasional. All these load conditions are conditions are occasional. Making all the conditions occasional. Okay. Now we're done with this. Save because if you click on any other tab, you can find it. So it's showing something. Warning in an occasional load combination of suspended and occasional case of combination that is made a scalar not absolute with load in new scalar of so after we have entered here Okay, we can subtract the loads from our system. This oh, let us see if we need this. Okay, see you in the next video.